Hey, it's Ryan, Prezadev. Today, we're going to be discussing everything you need to know about the AWS Developer Associate. We're going to be discussing what exactly it is, why you might want to pursue it, and how exactly do you get the certification. So diving into the AWS Developer Associate, it is an associate level exam that just tests your proficiency in basic developer skill sets in terms of utilizing the AWS cloud. And some of the key concepts is proficiency in developing, deploying, and debugging cloud-based applications using AWS and writing code for serverless applications. Then serverless is gonna be a real big feature when it comes to the developer associates. So you do wanna know that key concept. Ability to identify key features of AWS services and use the AWS service APIs, AWS CLI and SDKs to write applications. So again, because it's more of the developer associate, you're gonna to wanna to understand you know, APIs, understand the command line interface, and then ability, ability to apply a basic understanding of cloud native applications to write code. So that's a little bit of what the exam and the certification entails. Now, why might you wanna get the certification? Well, this is really for anyone looking, uh, that is a software developer is really looking to code or also dive into more DevOps. So both realms, I think, really apply. So when it comes to being a developer, it, it's good to get in terms of you at least understand how the cloud works and what are the different names of the different services and how those services work interchangeably together. And then also as a dev, DevOps engineer, uh, because if you're gonna be in DevOps, and this is definitely the certification, you probably even want to go for the more DevOps professional AWS certification because you're going to want to know not just how the different components work together, but this is what you're going to be using to deploy your code and you're going to be using what's called your code suite. So that's a little bit of why you might want to get the certification. So now the real meat, how do you actually go after this certification? So I'm going to dissect some of the the key fundamental services you're going to want to know, as well as some resources and a time frame you can expect to really knock the certification out. So IAM EC2 S3 serverless computing like Lambdas and API gateways and other services, including SQS, right? Uh, SNS and Elastic Beanstalk. These are all key fundamental services you are going to want to know for AWS. You also wanna know KMS, KMS and encryption, uh, especially understanding the lines of code when adjusting uh, the encryption services on a specific uh, on a specific application because they're gonna test you on, okay, here are the 10 lines of code that are being used of JSON or something. What policy is this applying to this service? So you're gonna to wanna to understand how that actually works. You're gonna also want to really understand the code suite. So that's the code commit, code deploy, and the code pipeline, and really understand how that all works together. And that's really that DevOps element that I was sort of mentioning at the beginning of this video. You're really gonna to want to understand that. And if you're looking for more of that DevOps route, then you know that should be fairly easy for you. And maybe even consider going to the DevOps professional. And then you also want to know a little bit about serverless application model and then cloud formation. So those are, it's not an exhaustive list, but those are the key services I think you should be able to, after going through the AWS Developer Associate certification, you should have a solid foundational understanding of each of those services. And you should be able to sort of explain what they are, or at least understand how to sort of use them and how they work together. Now, a time frame for the certification, I think it should take about a month if you are consistent, disciplined, and focused with the certification. It could take longer, maybe two to three months if you know, you're a little more lax with it. You, know, you study maybe an hour every few days. But I think if you're consistent with it every single day, at least an hour, an hour to two hours every single day, I think you could really get the certification in about 30 days. And you can find resources, in terms of resources, you can use the AWS white papers. The classic is the AWS well-architected framework. You can also check out the microservices on AWS as well. 
serverless architectures with AWS Lambda could be a benefit because you definitely want to have a good understanding of serverless applications, especially for the AWS Developer Associate Exam. Uh, practicing continuous integration and continuous delivery on AWS would also be another good one. You can check out the blue-green deployments. You want to understand the different, different deployment strategies, but I don't think you have to read a whole white paper for it. Just as long as you know the different deployment strategies, I think you're set for at least the associate level, developer associate. Now, you can also check out YouTube. YouTube's a great resource. Udemy as well is another great resource. Those are just a few places you can go ahead and check out. But if you want the free stuff, then definitely check out the AWS white papers and I'll make sure to leave links down below as well as YouTube. You know, you can find a lot of free resources covering a lot of these different topics on YouTube. And then to also sort of dive a little further into the exam, you can check out the AWS Developer Associate exam guide on the AWS website. But so you guys understand the domain and the structure, sort of what to expect on the exam. 22% of the exam is going to be focused on deployment, and that's deploy written code in AWS using existing continuous integration and development pipelines, processes, and patterns. So that's that whole code suite that we were talking about. Then the second domain is security, which is 26%. So that makes up a, a fair amount as well. And so, you know, make authenticated calls to AWS services, understand KMS, you know, encryption, that sort of thing. Implement encryption as well, so you want to understand that. The third domain, development with AWS services, that makes up 30% of the exam. So that is write code for serverless applications. So see, that's where it's not enough to just know the serverless applications. You want to understand the actual code being written for those serverless applications and what it's actually doing. So those are three domains. Let's see. The fourth domain is refactoring, which is only about 10%. And then domain five is monitoring and troubleshooting, which is another 12%. So really spend time understanding the serverless side when it comes to the AWS developer associates and understanding the code suite on top of the more fundamental, you know, IAM, EC2, and S3 uh, fundamental structure of just the cloud, the AWS cloud, you definitely want to know those main things. If you have a foundational understanding of IAM, EC2, and S3 on top of your serverless computing, as well as the overall code suite, which is the code commit, code deploy, and the code pipeline, I think you'll be really solid. You'll get at least a good 50% of the actual exam, but make sure you understand the other services as well so you can really pass the exam with flying colors. And so those are just some resources to go ahead and check out. So again, the AWS Developer Associate is great for anyone looking to really test their developer skill sets in terms of utilizing the AWS Cloud. For anyone that is a software developer, software engineer, and wants to learn more about the AWS Cloud or is looking to either dive into a more DevOps role and want to use the certification as a foundational step towards their DevOps journey. If you're going more for DevOps though, I would recommend going after the AWS DevOps professional certification because it adds more depth if that's more of the path you want to go down. But it's still great for anyone who's just looking to code as well on the cloud. And again, time frame about a month to three months and some great resources, AWS white papers, YouTube, and of course, you can check out Udemy and other paid sites. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video just discussing the AWS Developer Associate, the what, why, and the how. Truly hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like and follow for more content. And as always, I'm Ryan Perez, the dev. Thanks for watching.